Look at him. Hi, buddy. You want to sit down? You want to sit down? He's going to sit here and get comfy while I film. Because he's a good buddy, huh? Yeah, good buddy, yeah. Okay, let's get started. So, this is a little mental health update update check, a life check, if you will. Um, so I have one more week of trade school left and the next week after that is just the final, final of the two class, two lecture classes that I'm having. And officially the construction lab class ended today where we finish making the, finish building the components of a dollhouse or a dog house, whatever you want to call it. Just small, um, demonstrative purpose type of uh, setting. I feel like by today I should have been more confident and I should have been more, I guess, being able to identify where things go without having to ask or without having to, you know, seek out approval from my group members. But I feel like I did have to do that, so I feel a little bit down about it. I kind of left the class feeling like, oh, hmm, you know, like a, a little bit of a knot in my stomach. But I think I've mentioned already that this is it for me because I want to start working. And this is another thing that I want to touch on. Let me take a sip of my wine. Okay. <sighs> oh boy. This is like wine glass number two, so I'm kind of losing my train of thought. But let me get into this. So how do I feel about everything that's going on? I feel like I question myself a lot. What the heck I'm doing? I mean, what is my purpose? Did I make the correct decision? I don't know. I'm thinking about that a lot again and not living in the moment worrying about the future am i really going to be able to start my business am i kidding myself reading the requirements and qualifications of these jobs that pop up in the keywords that i search up i'm just like am i going to be able to do this like do i even want to do this anymore all these thoughts are kind of going through my head and a part of me is like, okay, well, worst case scenario, I could still apply for economist jobs. And I, maybe I could tell the employer why I quit the other one. I could just say, oh, I could just say the truth. I mean, not say the tr complete truth, but, you know, there are some things that I was unhappy about with that job. And I have to realize that, although I'm not going to disclose that to the new employer, I have to, like, there's certain parts of your life where you're just like I should have been grateful but at the same time if you feel like that wasn't right for you if you feel like you just weren't supposed to be there you have to also recognize that and acknowledge that feeling because that is just so important in realizing that you can't waste your life the limited time that you have in your life to be doing something or to be working for somebody um, where you're just not suitable there. The next steps, now that school is almost over. I did actually was able to speak with somebody the first day that I started applying. That person called me back in like an hour or two hours after I applied. I called them back and that person was pretty surprised that a woman called him back and I kind of had to convince him that like hey th this I'm taking trade school classes right now plumbing is one of them and you know I've scored really high on my exams I really want to do this and like this is what I used to do I know it's completely different I know it's unconventional but I want to do this I'm interested in it I think I can do it do it and I've you know dabbled a little bit in the plumbing lab classes and I will work hard for you. I will really, really work hard for you. And he said, you know what? What the heck? I'll give you a chance. But when I told him my final exams were um, on like the end of July, he said, well, I need somebody right now. So once you're done with your exams, why don't you give me a call and then we'll get you on. So I do have that, but I mean, I guess there isn't really a but. It pays 15 to 20 bucks an hour and I can get a bunch of experience, and if I am physically able to do it, 
you know, I will get a lot of experience doing plumbing related work, which I would foresee me doing as a handy woman, like installing fixtures. In this um, seemingly like gardening, maintenance, whatever upkeeping kind of job requires five years of experience. I'm like, I don't know if I can even get a job in the trades, you know? And it, it just felt like, it, did I even do the right thing going to trade school, learn all this stuff, building a dollhouse, you know, replacing and installing a toilet? Is that even enough for anything, I thought? Am I even gonna get a job? Do I need to continue going to school? All that kept thinking, kept racing around in my head and I just felt like I made a mistake. I needed, I can't afford this, but like being stressed out about something is a great motivator sometimes because it puts you into this realistic and logical state of mind. But at the same time, I feel like it's so important to realize your potential and realize that there isn't really anything that you can't handle. There's always going to be a way. I could always get side jobs. Maybe I will have a crazy schedule, but I really shouldn't stress out so much about the future because I know that I'm doing a lot. And this is another thing. I'm taking classes from 8 o'clock to 12 p.m. and then from 6 o'clock to 9 p.m. Monday through Thursday. And then on Fridays, I take a class. I only have the construction lab class from 8 to 12. But that lab class that's three times a week is physical work. And that plumbing lab class not too much physical work but you know it's still like doing things but I just I would commute there and then commute back and then I would drive there and drive back or drive in the morning commute back and then drive back I mean commute back again and then drive back with the car at night or whatever but that traveling back and forth took uh, takes a little bit of a toll on you and then just having that construction lab class where you're just like non-stop hammering things and thinking about measurements walking back and forth putting things is it okay and then hammering things again it's it's work you know and I felt like I didn't give that value so I just felt like I wasn't working I'm just learning I'm just having this luxury of learning I need to start working I need to take side jobs and I feel like I really stretched myself too thin where I was just like so unhappy and so overwhelmed because I still want things really clean around the house and I was taking it out on Vince and I just felt like I was doing everything and I also still had to do home stuff and take care of the dogs and I was by myself and I just felt like I can't do this. I I need to go back. I made a mistake. So I was thinking about that. Because I was not giving value to the schooling that I'm, you know, allowing myself to do full time as something that is almost kind of like work because of all the commuting, because of all the learning. And it takes a lot, of out of, a lot out of you when you're learning something that's completely new to you. And... The cherry on top is the fact that I do find everything really, really interesting. And everything that I've learned so far has been completely useful and just everything that you could use in real life. You know, it's not anything like the so many semesters and quarters that I spent in university where I felt like, I don't know if I'm really, I can't think of an exact situation where I can use this knowledge in real life you know like I know that I need to know this for my major and I know that it could be useful in ways and I find it pretty interesting but I don't know how to apply it in real life yet and I feel like that's so high school level that's so free education level and if you're paying thousands of dollars for that like there's something wrong about that don't you think and I don't regret getting my bachelor's because just having just being able to say you have your bachelor's, you know, gets you really, really far and getting hired because there are so many people with bachelor's, you know, already that you have to have at least your bachelor's to get your foot in the door in academia. 
so I'm happy about that but I do definitely regret having to like having had followed that complete course course curriculum program whatever you want to call it where you need to take this elective this elective this prerequisites all these things because you know half of that shit I don't even remember so final thoughts I really enjoyed trade school I am happy that it's ending very soon and I am also kind of sad but I do feel like I got a lot more skills and I have way more knowledge in this less than two months that I've been in school. There's a I am definitely going to work for somebody and if I can't get that plumbing job or if I can't do something hands-on, the other idea that I had was working as an office assistant for like a plumbing company, for a construction company where at least I could still be within the industry in that I could speak with clients on the phone that would call for estimates or not want to use that company's services. I could have access to clients that way, you know, and just see what people usually ask about or what things they need fixed or whatever it is, I could stay within the trades that way. But for right now, I think a lot of my stresses come from, I don't think I'm ready yet. You know, I, I don't think I can take things into my own hands. I don't think I have enough skills yet. And I don't know, I'm just not ready yet. And I think that's okay. But I still want my own business and I still want to run it completely on my own. But my next step into becoming a handing woman would be to finish trade school, um, just for the semester, I mean, and then get a job, something related to the trades, and work that for, I don't know, however long until I feel like, you know what, I think I got this down, and I think that I'm completely confident enough to provide services on my own and know exactly what services clients need and how to execute them properly. So until then, I will keep you updated on everything. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope I wasn't talking too slow. Here's a little clip of my dogs. Oh, this one's gone. Oh, someone just texted me.